All right, for this video, we have a crane, so it's got a vertical piece uh, connected to a kind of horizontal piece over here. Uh, it's got a counterweight on one end, a load uh, it's lifting on the other end, uh, and then these two cables kind of reinforce that main arm. Um, so based on the dimensions and the forces given, uh, we're asked to draw a free body diagram of this main horizontal arm. All right, so first step is going to be to draw that horizontal arm. I'm actually going to draw it a little bit bigger than it is in the original diagram, just to give my, myself some room. Uh, and then I need to start drawing in the different forces. All right, so I've got kind of this counterweight on one end. Um, and the magnitude of that counterweight force is going to be um, 600 kilograms times 9.81. I need to convert everything into newtons. So 600 times 9.81. All right, I'm going to have the load over here. So FL, uh, that one's going to be uh, 200 times 9.81. Uh, and those are kind of the known forces. Oh, I also have the uh, weight force, so it's a 400 kilogram arm. So I'm going to add the weight force, uh, and if I kind of figure out, I'm going to assume it's the midpoint, if I figure out the midpoint, um, that's going to be um, well, 10 meters back from this is that cable, and another 8 meters back actually uh, would bring me to 25 meters from either side, either side of this 50 meter long um, piece. Uh, so my gravity force, Fg, is 400 times 9.81. A little hard to read there. All right, so <clears throat> those are my kind of, that's the weight of the arm itself, the two loads on the arm. Uh, I'm going to have a pin joint here. So what a pin joint does a pin joint will prevent motion in the x and y direction, but it allows it would allow this whole thing to rotate. So there's no moment there. And so preventing motion, I'm going to have FRX, FRY at the pin joint. Uh, and then I'm not going to have a reaction moment there. All right, so the last thing I need to do is I need to include these tension forces. And so the tension force, it's kind of on the... Uh, and there I'm going to have FT1, and the tension force kind of uh, exists, it's going to connect between the center of the arm and the load point, so FT2. Uh, and that's going to be all of the um, forces that are acting on this arm, on the arm itself. All right, so now I need to start uh, considering dimensions and angles that are important to this. All right, so going from the end of the arm where this tension force is uh, over to the center of the counterweight, that's going to be three meters. Um, going from the center of the counterweight to the pin joint, that's another 10 meters. All right, next thing is the gravity force, actually. Um, so I know the whole thing, if I add all these numbers up, it's 50 meters long. Uh, so 25 meters is the distance from the end all the way to this gravity force. So I've got 13 already. It's going to be another 12 meters to get to the gravity force. Um, and then if I've gone 12 meters already, I need to go another 8 meters to get to this tension force. And then beyond the tension force, I need to go another 10 meters. Uh, and those are kind of the important dimensions there. All right, so that's all the horizontal dimensions. I also need to figure out some of these angles. Um, so the angle of the tension force up on this end and the angle on this end. Uh, and I've left myself a little room up here. So I need to do a little trigonometry. All right, so this is the triangle that is kind of right here. Uh, and that triangle, I know it's six meters tall. That's what's written kind of up, up there. Uh, I know it is going to be 13 meters long, so 3 plus another 10. Uh, and so if I want to know this angle, theta 1, 
uh, well, theta 1, uh, the tangent of theta 1 is going to be 6 over 13. So I want to do tan negative 1 of 6 over 13. And that'll give me an angle, theta 1, of 24.8 degrees. All right, so this angle down here is going to be 24.8 degrees. And I can do the same thing for this triangle right here for this tension in the cable. All right, so for that one, it's still 6 meters tall, uh, but now it's 20 meters long. And if I want to know this angle theta 2, I do the same kind of strategy. So the tangent of this angle is going to be 6 over 20. So I do theta 2 equals tan negative 1, the inverse tangent of 6 over 20. All right, and theta 2 ends up being equal to 16.7 degrees. All right, so this angle over here is 16.7 degrees. All right, so with that, we've got all of, we've got our our arm that's separated from everything else. We've added in all the forces acting on that arm. Uh, we've added in all the key dimensions and all the key angles. So we've got our free body diagram. Now with that, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.